Welcome to your all new i4s. Right now we're going to be taking a look once we're logged in at how to navigate and what each tab does on your i4s resistant spot welder. Right now from the main home screen we can take a look at a couple of things. We can see on the right in the middle we have a system status box that goes over all the voltages for your three phases. Also goes over your air input pressure and a couple different welding temperatures for a couple different components inside of the welder. From the main screen, we also have an updates button, a training button, and a help button. The help button is very important to know because every single screen and every tab that we click on on the i4s has a help button that is specific to that individual screen and that screen only. So if you're ever navigating through your i4s and you come to a point where you're not sure of what to do or what something means, simply click the help button on that screen and navigate through and you will figure out what you are doing wrong. We can also look across the bottom. We have the ProSpot logo with the i4s. This also acts as a home button. We can tell which user we are logged in under. We can see the work order, the weld log, we can check for system updates, see the Wi-Fi, and also the welder temperature. We can also see the time and date across the bottom. If we go across the top, this is where all of the welding parameters will be. So we start from the home screen on the left. If we wanted to weld in auto mode, we would click on the auto tab, and this is going to bring us to the auto mode. And then we can scroll from the auto mode over to manual mode. And this is where we can use the welder in a manual mode. We can set our own settings or also use settings that are already programmed into the machine. If we wanted to use the single sided attachment, we would simply click on the tab on the top uh, labeled single. And this will bring us into everything that we can do from the single sided. And then on the far right, we also have our system settings. Inside of the system settings on the left, there are a lot of individual tabs on other things that we can control on the welder. We have our Wi-Fi tab, the administration tab that you can either be logged in or be logged out of the admin tab. Once we're logged into the admin tab, we have more options available to us. So as I clicked on it, a few other options popped up such as work orders, users, different alerts doing factory resets and calibrations. We also have a cooling tab where we can click on cooling and we can manually set different cooling options. We're able to adjust the date and time and brightness of the screen. And then we can also go down and take a look at what version is currently in the welder. And then we also have system updates in which we can check also what the current version in the welder is. We can also see what the different update history was. And in this screen, the welder will also automatically check for any new updates that are available for your i4s, as long as you are connected to Wi-Fi. And those will show up on the screen if they are available. Anytime from any screen that you're in, you can simply click the bottom left to go back to the home screen and navigate anywhere else that you would like. 